Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that corruption is the root cause of all problems. He said that one must fight corruption and eradicate it completely. Addressing Parivartan Rally in Muradabad in Uttar Pradesh, PM Modi said that post demonetization, the corrupt who have stashed black money are queuing outside houses of poor people and seeking their help. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that development is one single solution to all problems like poverty, literacy and lack of health services. PM Modi said that eliminating poverty from big states like UP, Bihar, Maharashtra and West Bengal will lead to the country's development. Sixth Heart of Asia Conference begins in Amritsar in Punjab. Top officials of 14 member countries are discussing key challenges facing the region including terror groups and explore ways to bring lasting peace and stability to Afghanistan. On Sunday, the main conference will be jointly inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani. India and Qatar have inked five packs, including in the fields of cooperation in cyberspace, exemption for visa requirement and e-visa for businessmen of both the countries. Additionally, another memorandum of understanding aimed at encouraging greater collaboration and exchange in the field of national ports management of India and Qatar was also signed. Prime Minister Narendra Modi held discussions with his Qatari counterpart Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani in Delhi. The two leaders discussed ways to enhance cooperation in the strategic area of energy. They held discussions on bilateral, regional and multilateral issues of common interest. Union Minister Venkaya Naidu today reacted on army taking over road toll plazas in West Bengal, saying dragging army into any controversy is not a national interest and this is totally condemnable. He added that not only Trinamool Congress but Congress and other parties are also trying to make it a big issue. Union Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting Rajwardhan Rathore today said that use of technology for day-to-day -day transactions will ultimately reduce corruption in the country. Addressing the concluding session of a training camp for students in Kejroli village in Jaipur, he also said that an honest person has been honoured through demonetization decision. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj said that the alleged gang rape of an American tourist in March this year will not be spared. She has asked the Indian ambassador in the US to contact the victim. The External Affairs Minister also ensured full cooperation in bringing the guilty to book. Information and Broadcasting Minister Venkaiya Naidu today hailed the Urdu language, saying Urdu journalism and newspapers contributed significantly to Indian freedom struggle and nation building. He was speaking at the inaugural session of five day workshop for working Urdu journalists at Molana Azad National Urdu University in Hyderabad. Media reports suggest that days before he was killed in an encounter in Anantanag, Hizbul Mujahideen terrorist Burhan Wani had spoken to lashkar e taiba chief and most wanted terrorist Hafiz Muhammad Said, seeking his blessings to spread terrorism in India. He also sought to reach out to the Pakistan-based outfit for funds and operational coordination with the Hizbul Mujahideen. Reacting on shocking audio tape revelation on conversation between killed terrorist Burhan Wani and lashkar e taiba chief Hafiz Said by a news channel, BJP leader Shrikant Sharma said that those who support Burhan should at least apologize to the countrymen. A 16-year-old Indian environmental activist based in the UAE has won this year's prestigious International Children's Peace Prize for a fight for climate justice and combating environmental degradation. Kehkasha Basu was presented the award by Bangladesh's Nobel Peace Laureate Muhammad Yunus at a glittering ceremony in The Hague. Today, the world is observing International Day of Persons with Disabilities to promote the rights and welfare of disabled individuals around the globe. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has saluted the determination of Divyang sisters and brothers. In a tweet, the Prime Minister called on all people to continue ongoing efforts with renewed vigour and create a nation where both accessibility and equality prevail. In a first in decades, United States President-elect Donald Trump spoke to Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen and discussed various issues, a move which could irk China. The two leaders acknowledged close economic, political and security ties between Taiwan and the USA. Relatives of missing MH370 passengers were headed to Madagascar, harboring hopes of finding seaborne debris. 1,001 days since the mysterious disappearance of the ill-fated Malaysia Airlines jet. Four Malaysians and two Chinese nationals left from Kuala Lumpur and will be joined in Madagascar by other MH370 next of kin traveling from France.